Unfolding Lines and New Age Spiritual Insights, a reference of the first African-Nigerian Reiki master and healer, Bazi Francis. The infinity's infinite pleasantries of life remains mysterious to those who are not aware of its equilibrium. Genius Nikola Tesla says, if you want to understand the mystery of the universe, think in terms of energy, frequency and vibration. To be more specific, picture it this way all is mind. The mind is an infinite tool for absolute freedom. Freedom from illusions and self-imposed beliefs, we are free beings that are meant to exercise this power based on choice of existence. Our world and societal standards in today's world to away this power from mankind, due to the love of selfish gains and power, leaving us in a disastrous condition of living. Our free will was taken away from us by those who we elected in power, giving them the authority to lead us to the promised land. They decide and make us decipher lies to be the truth and illusions, therefore making this distortion to be our reality. This is what I simply call political extortion and theft from the world rulers. These influence is something that's passed down to generations and unto the next. Now listen to me carefully, our existence is governed by substance, attributes, and mode. This is the Earth's trilogy for mankind's existence and freedom only comes to those who exercise this willpower. We are one under the umbrella of nature, we are formed out of nature, the trees, birds, plants all, all gifts from nature. Today, I'd be giving you typical illustration and generalization of the universe's expansion. Number 1. Substance, when we talk about something substantial, we simply refer this in one word and that means independence. This means something that is created to create another out of it. The trilogy of Earth's algorithm is governed by the rule of substance, a good reference that I'd give is from the Bible, in the book of Genesis when God created Adam from dust. We can see that the Creator created us from what He first created which is the Earth. From dust we were made and to dust shall we return. Number 2. Attributes, attributes on the other hand means are the way we experience those substances. There are two types of attributes and these are extension thoughts. When we talk about extension this is said to be an actual material thing and thoughts is the idea or enlightenment we get to create something out of it. Number 3. Mode. Mode is the form or shape which the substance takes. For instance, wood could be in mode of a tree, chair, book, pencil, doors etc. It's the substance of wood in different forms and shapes. To be more specific, a substance is an independent thing in Spinoza's words a substance is what is in itself and it's conceived through itself. Mankind's existence. You and I are substance of different kinds and colors. It doesn't matter cause substance knows no race or gender or color. We are one. And we have natural abilities and amazing gifts and talents that shouldn't go unnoticed. We tend to become afraid of expressing our gifts and abilities because we consider the opinions of others or the society to be true. Whatever we do or create from our hands using our gifts, we should first see the value in whatever we've created and appreciate the divine essence to create that which you've created. If you make music for example, you should be your own greatest fan, if you're a comedian, laugh to your own jokes and freely express yourself with no fear. So when you stand out in public you can do the same because you constant do it to yourself in private. Love and appreciate what you do, so others could do the same. I hope you got enlightened from today's message. My name is Bazzi Francis, sending you so much love and light.